issue of human life. Uh, John McCain is a person who respects human life. Uh, if you remember watching a few weeks ago Saddleback Church uh, kind of debate, it really wasn't a debate, it was kind of a joint appearance, one went on and the other went on. They asked John McCain, when should, at what point do we start protecting human life? What point is it important? And John McCain says, at the point of conception. He didn't hesitate, he said that. Barack Obama was asked the same question. And he stammered a little bit, really didn't answer, and finally said, you know, it's just really above my pay grade. Well, what kind of answer is that for a person who wants to be president? By the time you get ready to run for president, you ought to know what you believe. And you ought to know what your core principles are. But in addition to the voting record, where Barack Obama has a zero voting record for pro-life, and John McCain is pro-life, but in addition to voting, two crucial issues that came up that Barack Obama voted on. One was partial birth abortion. When that issue came up in the Illinois State Legislature, Barack Obama was there and he voted present. He voted present not once, but he voted present twice, he voted present three times. He would not take a stand on one of the most heinous acts that is committed every year in this country, where a child is delivered alive, two-thirds of the child is delivered, and the child is killed. That's what his position was. He didn't take a position. And then when the issue of the Illinois State Legislature came up, what happens when a child, there's an abortion, and a child survives that abortion to provide medical care? And there's a bill that said you have to provide medical care for that child. Barack Obama, once again, voted present. So I think there's a huge, huge difference on a fundamental core value issue like the respect for human life. John McCain, though, not only talks about it and goes that way, he lives it. A few years ago, 15, 16, 17 years ago, his wife Cindy was traveling on a humanitarian mission. She's done a lot of this over the years, help people save children's lives. And she was in Bangladesh, and she went into an orphanage there, uh, one, one of uh, Mother Teresa's orphanages. And they came to her and said, we have these two children, and they're going to die. They're in very bad shape because of their medical condition. You take them, you do something. And so she did, and she brought them back. And those of you who saw the Republican National Convention on TV saw the one little girl, who's now a teenager, stand with her parents at the Republican National Convention. They had adopted her. And you saw the other little girl stand with her parents, John and Cindy McCain, because they adopted that child. Uh, that's the type of person John McCain is. That's the type of person that Cindy is. They live their Christian faith every single day. Uh, we have a challenge in this state. Uh, this state race is going to be very close in Ohio. I believe Ohio will determine who the next president of the United States is. Uh, it will come down to one percentage point in Ohio, and we have to get every single vote that we can get. Uh, we have just a few more days to register voters. So those of you uh, who